Hello friends, welcome. Now the same thing I want to do in the projects. For that, let's go here and I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to create a resource for the project. So artisan make resource and I'm going to name it project resource. Hit enter and then let's run npm run dev. Okay. If I go inside the resources, we have the skill resource. Now we have the project resource. And let's go in the skill resource and copy this return. Here, close. And then go to the project. Place that return. Now here we need the ID, the name, the email. Very good. We need also the skill ID, the project URL. So let's say skill underscore ID and let's say dollar sign this skill ID, the project URL. which is going to be this project URL. Now in the skill, in the projects, I want to display the ID name, the image, and also I want to display the skill name. So one way is to add a skill as an object. So instead of this, I just can add skill here and say this skill because we have the relationship. And we can say, uh, not something like this, but just say, I'll assign this when loaded and add the skill or leave it as it is uh, because we need only the skill id and the skill name i'm going to say skill name to be dollar sign this skill name now this is for id this is for name as i said if you want you can add the skill here and we can uh, remove that and here we can say also we can say a uh, new skill resource skill resource and say this when it's going to load the relationship this when loaded the skill. Okay, if I save like this and now inside the project controller on the index, I'm going to say dollar sign projects is going to be with project resource collection and add project all okay and here let's add compact projects very good if i save let's go to the index view in the projects here and we need to have defined the projects here so define props projects which is going to be an object now if i save and let's go to the project refresh inspect the element if we go to the view on the index we have projects we have data 
and we don't have any project right now. I have uh, removed that. So if I create new project, I'm going to say short URL. Let's say the URL, this one, and I'm going to choose this as an image. Let's say store. Okay, now inside the index, we have projects data with an array. And as you can see, we have only the ID, name, image, and the project URL, but the skill we don't have. Because inside the project resource, we set new skill resource, this when loaded. Now, if I go inside the project controller, instead of project all, we can say project with the skill relation get like this and let's refresh now and let's inspect the elements again go to the view in the object now we have also the skill object which has the id image and the name now if you like like this okay if you don't like we just can change and add only the ID, the skill ID and the skill name. Okay. Now let's uh, display the table. And I'm going to go inside the skills index. When we have the table, I'm going to copy that. So this div, and I'm going to put after the div we have the button we have in the projects so here we have the div with the button after this one i'm going to paste this just now we need to display the id the name the image and let's copy and display and duplicate this and after the name i'm going to add the skill okay and here instead of skill we need to say uh, so let's select all, I need to say project. If I save and let's go, in the project we have the ID, the name, the skill. Now the skill is going to display the image because we don't have the skill. So if I copy the name and duplicate that, and instead of name, we need to say skill, project skill dot name because we have skill as an object and as you can see now we have the id the name the skill and the image okay that's it about this video friends see you in the next one